A huge thank you to all super sponsors, including new super sponsor Fickle Sylph. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Do you know, I think I might have finished this. Not the map playthroughs, obviously, that's going to take until next year, but I've been going out at Hammer and Tongs ever since I've returned from Scotland, and we've got 39 stations now. The game has a metagame, it works, it's got an ending. Uh, so if you do feel like uh, playing through these, then please give it a download and uh, enjoy the stuff that uh, I've been going through. And all the submissions, 311 of them. Uh, to this ridiculous project. Uh, map 181 is next. We are going to descend the Black Tower by Crab Hermit. And it's a four and a four to start with. Oh, I thought I was descending. The ceiling peeled away. More of you, okay. I know I said this uh, possibly last video, but uh, they all blur together a bit, honestly, but. It doesn't take me long to remember just how satisfying playing Doom is, no matter how daunting the remaining list seems. Well, we're slowly uh, expanding the Black Tower, if anything. Oh, look at the caco dancers in the cages. Difficult to dance when you don't have any arms or legs. Just wiggle a bit. Ah, I see a tool that's going to help me a lot. Oh, my foot. Oh, I finally got my e-bike, by the way. Finally delivered. There was some terrible uh, backlog at the factory or the delivery centre, and they sent the wrong parts to the uh, bike shop at first, but... Eventually I got there. And I love it. And uh, thank you for listening, because it's been at least two hours since I told anyone I owned an e-bike and I was about to burst. This sky is wonderful. Just such a... Such an odd game where you praise the beauty of the environments in which you slaughter the hellspawn. Uh, I have not used my ammunition very effectively. Nevertheless, there must be a way to expand... Oh, down here then. Couple of spectres around. Ah. I thought that was just going to go on forever. Misaligned wall, but it's not a secret. Let's get out of the way of those chain gunners, into the way of some revenants, perhaps. Ah! Oh, I suppose they'll, they'll all be after me. Oh, yeah, skipping the demon's tactic. 
It might come back to bite me much later on on the level. Oh, hello there. You're a bit uh, closer than the rest. you come from? Hang on. Thank you. Some really interesting shapes in this map using this uh, 3D floor undurned over to build these multiple floors of a castle. Oh, it's played by Hell Knight. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I, I just wanted to allow that dodge. Oh! That... Clearly I was doing better than I thought. Oh, it's a pain elemental over there. Yeah, I saw... I thought I heard him... Uh, Wake up. Okay, let's get some infighting going on here. In fighting. Oh dear. Uh, any more ammo down here? Thought there was a clip. Oh, I wasn't looking at the screen, I'm sorry. You may have noticed I'm feeling a certain lack of ammunition here. There's a box. But how am I going to use it all on just getting past all these? Oh, the chain guns were up there, weren't they? Aww. Not quite time to go up that way yet. I was going to say, what a bit of like missing the uh, the chain guns missed all the time, but uh, then I hit him from point blank with a shotgun and uh, some maybe survived it. Quite get that ammo I was aiming for. <coughs> Excuse me. Go 
got a sore throat again after traveling. Might be dead by Tuesday. Hmm. Right, I think I've coaxed the revenants down from their uh, high castle. Now, I admit I have been pretty aimless so far, but I'm really trying to just uh, get everyone to infight instead of uh, wasting ammo, because there doesn't seem to be very much. Got them down to 150 monsters, that's not bad. Are you still here? Uh, let's go up that way I was going originally. Taking a slight detour, hang on. No! Oh. Just do it myself. Right, I'm up. Missed him. Oh, that was a tragic miss. Yeah. Caught all of those, though. Nothing wrong with accuracy there. Oh, it's a door. Ah, I could do with some of that, thank you. if there are other entrances to this little space. <laughs> right, yeah, like I was saying, uh, let's go back up to the place I was at. This is nothing like the place I was before. Where is it? <laughs> Oh, look at the size of this map! What's going to go out there? I have no idea where... Yes, yes, this way. And then, I thought I went down this way. Yes, here we go. Light just hidden in the wall. Having a nice time. Oh, okay, so I was right above. Okay, that's. I thought I was in this section of the map, so I was right above where. I was right below where I wanted to be. And I could have just slipped over here, as it turns out. Which is all very exciting, but I still don't know how to progress, because I need a uh, yellow or red key, yellow, yellow skull. all very well, but there are still bars in the way. Was that closed before? I can't remember. Nice scenery. Oh! Aha! It's an illusion!
So I expect that's just a portal line that's uh, visual only that uh, you can step slightly beyond by accident. Well, this is annoying, isn't it? Because I can't jump. Let's just go all the way around the map again, looking at walls for uh, switches. I did think that I would have to jump onto one of these uh, pillars with the stairs cut into them. But then I realised if I get onto them, where do I go from there? It's not very useful. How about this way? Is there a way up? There is not a way up here. Right, so up here. Can't do anything much there. But we can get into this room. Uh, where there's a box of custard creams on the shelf that I completely missed. So let's go and use that. <laughs> Scottish biscuits and confectionery are, are really world class. In the, the, you know, you think of Switzerland and uh, France and places like that, but but Scotland just loads so much that's bad for you into such a small space. And I'm very weak to sugar. I think I've worked out the secret of uh, Scottish Korma as well. I've been trying to perfect it and recreate the taste that you get in Scottish Indian restaurants in Scotland. And uh, the secret, unsurprisingly, is sugar. I was thinking that if, if I'd made this myself, I would have thought I'd put far too much sugar in it, but, but that's the taste that I like, as it turns out. That's the authentic. <laughs> as if there's anything authentic about Indian restaurants in Scotland. Bad looking maze, but it is a bit one node. Uh, oh, you can see through there. That's a interesting little bit of scenery. The demons wake up. Oh, chain gunner over there. I'm going to have to change my tactics. Oh no, I can't. All right, I'm just going to have to wait for him to get closer. Surprise! That's not really what uh, Jason and Freddy and all of that say, is it? Neither do they use chainsaws. What's his name? Leatherhead? Leatherface? Oh well. Is 
What's that a portal? Yes, it is. It's actually two portals. I wonder why. I see a place where I haven't been. It's like Pac-Man in here getting the health bottles. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something's not right here. It would be great to have more than ten bullets just now, wouldn't it? There we go. Let me uh, head back into the light world. Was that box of shells there before? I missed that. That's a... Uh problem with my eyesight rather than the ammo levels in this level. Alright, there's another way into the dark world. And I think we've explored all we're going to explore here, so let's uh, head over here. You know, let's use the chainsaw because I can't miss with it. to bat. All right. Oh, I need to get you further away from the arch valve. I'll do. Well, I thought I would finish him off. I was wrong. But I just had the reflexes to get away with it. Well, that's a Difficult looking switch, isn't it? I'll blame 32 and 24. Anyway, what did it do? Oh, hang on a minute. I can't get through there. What did it do? Is there a way out of this maze? It's just occurred to me that uh, I must have ended it at some point. Oh! Hello there. How'd you find your way in? Uh, that's back the way I came, sorry. I'm missing something very big. Hmm. I'm enjoying the moody music, by the way. Oh, oh no, that's the one that leads uh, to the other side. This one leads to the dark world. It opened... I, I'm pretty sure it opened those bars. My trouble is I can't remember where those bars were on this side of reality. Oh, it might be... Well... I see it on the map on the, over on the right-hand side, but I'm not sure what good it would do me to look at what's opened. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's have a look. Yeah, they, they did open. But what does that... What's the useful thing that that's reflecting? What's it telling me? Mm. 
Oh, I see. Right. Well, we made it out. But did we get any keys or anything for it? No. <coughs> Slightly better off for ammo. So you can get it. That's still barred. That's still barred. What did I miss? Loads of uh, spectres up here, but uh, that doesn't help. That's a bit more of a fight here than I uh, remembered leaving. Having a couple of extra boxes of shells earlier would definitely have helped. Anyway, no point wasting our time up here. That's a lot of uh, teleporting about with... Uh, not teleporting about uh, in the void here, with uh, without the benefit of a map. Mm. Excuse me. I suppose I have to go all the way downstairs again and see if there's anything else I missed. I don't want to explore all this again. Right, I did have to look in UDB, but here's my problem. In my random explorations, I somehow overlooked this tunnel, which I thought was one of the, the ones that went into the Dark World, but it's a corridor that was blocked off with these poles. So that's what the little indents in the walls were trying to tell me that I'd raised. I just hadn't found the place where the switch is affected yet. Well, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Well, that's better. Oh, wow. Oh. Hang on. It's interesting that it changes into a blue light when you cross that threshold. Uh-oh. Haven't seen any cyber demons or rockets yet. Oh, right, there it is. Um, now, contrary to appearances, and I did put three rows in contrary, uh, this is not an icy arena. So that's nice. I just don't have any plasma weapons, though, so we're going to have to shotgun it. Maybe some cargo balls will help us. Ow. I suppose the rocket launcher might be almost as good here if I'm having to keep my distance. Only two problems with that. One, I don't have a rocket launcher, and two, I don't have a rocket launcher. There we go. Been watching uh, Red Dwarf again. You've got to be able to enter one of these.
This is not it. There we go, that's the one. Apparently, they were ready to uh, anticipate that I might climb some stairs. Go over here. Too optimistic to think I can get through that barrier with nine health. I must have just missed the rocket launcher somewhere else in another time, another place. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, beat the gag demons. There it is. I thought I could uh, escape over the bridge of the tower. All right. Dropping like fat red flies. And that opened this one. Good. What's going to be in this? Oh, some good news at last. Blue Skull. I'll take care of the third tower. Oh, they're going down instead of up this time. Ah! You are really good at outdoor scenery. It might be purely because of the amazing choice of sky, but it's just a really uh, striking looking place. Alright, I'll just circle around here until somebody cares. Okay, 15 more to go, and I think that's all the spectres I left behind. So we're taking the bridge away from... That's a really nice looking tower. You've uh, you've rendered the spaces that I've been in really nicely. It looks like the tower that I was in. Could be the tower that I was in. It is the tower that I was in. <laughs> Alright, well, you've used space really well. And uh, I think the weakness of this map was just letting things go on a bit long. Uh, the sewers maze and the uh, 
part at the end where I was uh, just going from tower to tower and uh, having to go through all the Kaka Demons, whatever they're called. Uh, but otherwise, I really liked the feel of that one. That was a visually impressive one, I think. And it's interesting how you can make visually impressive maps without uh, tons of sectors. Uh, it was quite, uh, not plain, but quite light on the sector detail in a lot of places. But just by using the right combinations of skies and uh, expanses, you can make some really uh, incredible stuff. 182 is D running, which I can't find, but is here somewhere. There it is. And this one's by Dom. It's run, it's Dom, it's with a run. Shoot here, PS. I don't know if this is beatable. That's a promising start, isn't it? Reset. Immortal mode for 100% ramp completionist. Easy mode, you'll still die. Um. Can't I shoot here because I don't have a gun. Oh, there's one. Run. Oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> we are indeed de running. I wish I'd uh, built up a bit more lung capacity before this. Oh, come on! Whoop. Ah! I did quite well there. <clears throat> I got... absolutely nowhere near the end. Okay. No, Mo Farah could shatter the world record if he ran diagonally. Ooh. Oh, turning a corner is a difficult feat to you when there are so many rockets already in the air. I'm going to, I'm, I want to be able to turn this first corner and uh, then I might give up and jump into a bin. Oh, that's the end of me. Okay. We'll just resurrect. And do the same thing again. And maybe IDDQD instead. Here we go. Well, it is... <laughs> it is an interesting idea for a challenge. I do want to note that making sure your map is beatable is considered polite uh, when you submit a ramp. Or indeed, anything. But you've given the player that out with the uh, invulnerability. So the level is technically completable, even if it uh, feels a bit like skipping it. really well. Who needs IDDQD? Are you listening, Alanis Morissette? There, okay. Finish! That's certainly a lot of running. Don't know if it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but we'll see. we'll see. We'll see who beats that one first without invulnerability. When Anger shows us the next map by Merrick18818. That reminds me of uh, the uh, going live. Oh, 1818118118. 
No, that's wrong. 81 This is what the music of the future is going to be like, just reciting numbers. Ah, we haven't been here before. Uh, Atlantean Ruins. Was going to be a temple map. Looks much more of a temple map than anything else still, but I had to adapt it tastily into one that was counted as caves, because we had more caves map than ruins. When anger shows. Hmm. Well of purple stuff. <laughs> Purple is harmful, okay. <laughs> Not a switch. this about. That's what it's about. too deep deep into here before checking to see if I was safe but fortunately they're all low level monsters so far so it's not going to be too much difficulty on that stalactite and uh, that kind of ruined my health. <laughs> Hiding among the faces on the pillar. the bit of this cave, which looks really nice by the way, I should uh, not forget to keep commenting on the aesthetics of these maps, although you've got some problems with texture repetition here. Uh, I just like the cracked look of it. I think I've answered my own question. This definitely looks like a way forward. Oh. 
I don't have a chain gun. I was thinking just then, why am I plinking away with the pistol? And it's uh, because that was my best option. It's unfortunate he left his chain gun up there. Oh, you're an arch file. Does he hear me? Just that the monsters uh, bottleneck themselves. Oh. Too good to be true. I don't know why I still fall for these. that fast. Do they have different uh, levels of homing depending on the tick they respond on as well, or is it all or nothing? Because I swear some of them are, they just turn on the, the... Well, they, I don't know what they turn on, but it's very small. Being uh, armored up for something. Oh, and rocketed up, that's good. Excuse me. I've uh, produced more bodily noises in this video than is uh, really pleasant to listen to. I heard a cyber demon, but I did not see a cyber demon, and that's somehow more disturbing. Somehow I've knocked him up onto the pew. There we go. The, but there was another route, wasn't there, that uh, I explored and then rejected? Yes. Oh, that was that was it. Okay. Should have gone down there first. This always looks a bit weird. It's an unfortunate thing about stairs that when you build them, all the textures will be aligned and they look really repetitive. But you can nudge them left and right a bit. It takes a bit of time. Uh, what have I done? Well, they know. Let's see where they came from. Oh, there he is. need to invite the other way round to be effective because uh, the cyber demon doesn't really start infighting it just kills them ow what a place where rockets are slipped through Ah, 
take it. One more monster to go. It's nice of you to put these little uh, shafts of light leading towards the exit. That was a nice sort of subtle indicator. Right, we're ready to hit the end. Yeah, we are. There we go. Well, Anger shows that was a great little map. Uh, I enjoyed its challenge level. I enjoyed how it took me from outside down into the depths and then into the Hun Holy Temples. And I think it all works really well. The next map is by Lee H, and it is called Punch Out. I am not feeling confident. <laughs> Okay, we've got music from Punch Out. Here we go. He's <laughs> got the fucking dust. <laughs> if you don't know why this Cyber Demon's wearing duck boots, uh, you had to be there. thinking he has to, well, obviously he does shoot in burst of three rockets, but it's not quite as simple as that because he can just shoot rockets immediately after shooting rockets. Pick up these. There we go. I suppose we've got to actually get up to him at some point. <laughs> the little stands with the monsters. I was a bit uh, indecisive about which direction to dodge. I recently watched uh, to see those videos about explosions again. Oh, there it is. And I can't remember whether uh, standing orthogonally or diagonally is better. Because there's something about how ex explosions are squares, so orthogonal is better. They've got less reach that way. Anyway, punch out. We punched it out. I appreciated the boxing ring aesthetic. I wouldn't like to punch another Zyber Demon again. And that leaves us with map 185, which is A Hard Day at the Hard Day Factory by Laszlo Pandaflex, who has uh, continuously submitted incredibly spectacular things to ramp from uh, 2021 onwards. Let's see if we can find it. Remembering that I did actually put this uh, target on the map in. There we go. Hard day at the hard day factory. Here we go. 399 monsters. That really is a hard day. Oh, I love the holographic uh, computers, though. Oh, 
Oh, that is just sectors. I thought that must be a, a special graphic. Just this big gash in the wall. This is a uh, classic Lazlo here with the dark moodiness and these uh, neon lines and highlights. I was just thinking how peaceful it was as well. No time for admiring the scenery this time. Too casual for my own good with the dodging. I love the use of the fog. It makes these big environments, uh, you know, they're difficult to texture because they have to be big and square and you can't uh, do vertical decoration all that easily in Doom. But yeah, look at that. But not before we've dealt with whoever shot us! Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Ah, that must be a camera on the door that's going to. I, I hardly saw the switch, which is, uh, <laughs> which uh, is it was useful to have that camera. I think it's just the uh, green fog against the red. The, I can definitely see that's a very green light now. Right, we have unlocked a door at the other side of the room. Didn't really need the camera to tell me that because, uh, you know, there are monsters pouring out of it. But it was good because the switch was invisible to me. I spent most of my life uh, thinking that green traffic lights, uh, you know, I, I, I thought that uh, they say they're green, but they're really white. And then I learned that uh, the green lights have uh, slight blue phosphors in them. And they're specifically done like that so that uh, they're distinguishable to colorblind people and they appear white to colorblind people. Here we go.
you do such amazing things with, uh, you know, really quite plain textures and just lighting and fog. The concrete here. If I could make uh, the hub look like this, then ramp would just be cackaboard after cackaboard. <laughs> I'm really happy to be semi- uh, that Ramp is semi-regularly mentioned in it. There's just sidebar they did, uh, quite detailed for Ramp 2023 in particular, where they went through several of the highlights. God knows how they have time to do all of this. And I'm very proud that uh, so many people seem to be getting their start through Ramp. angle on that rocket? <laughs> Very sneaky, but the chain gun is there after distracting me with such a plate full of monsters. I was just uh, trying desperately to get away from the hit scanners and ran into more and more hit scanners. Come on. All right, maybe don't. It does seem that that's going to account for most of our remaining monster count there. of you. Really need that blue armour just now, but uh, some health is nice, thank you. Oops. And uh, that's why I keep needing health. size of this as well. Right, plasma gun is up there. Oh, which I can't get. Oh, maybe I can. Yes. No.
Oh, and I thought Mr. Big Green Face was... awkward combination of the Revenant and the Pain Elemental, isn't it? Because you've just got to concentrate on everything. Let's try to deal with these one at a time. I saw some health right at the very start that I could go back and pick up. Hang on. Two bottles. Um, let's see what we can do with this. Then. That is as good a result as I'm going to get. Perfectly clean fight on this side. Infighting on the other. Who could ask for more? Oh, that could have just opened up at any time, could it? All right. Uh, I love these decorations that Laszlo does, like the... Souls being processed in hell. Uh, I'm so rubbish at doom. We've definitely reduced the monster count, but uh, how far? Well, uh, over halfway. I know exactly how far. I don't know why I asked that question. Anyway, monster count aside, we have a key to fit somewhere. Oh, I'm just some health as well. Oh, I forgot about this wing. No, I didn't. That's just a loop. Okay. Populated. Wish I could say that was deliberate. Oh, I see my next target already. Taunting me with the key before I can get it. That's a classic move. Oh, I see. So do I just have to be quick? be dead. Well, the quick route worked. They don't mess about in the hard day factory, do they? Wonder what the uh, author's preferred intended tactic for this was. 
if it involved lots of running like I'm doing or calming down and uh, trying to take it step by step. too much plasma just now when I've uh, no idea of the horrors I'll be faced with up ahead. What a great looking map. Jeez, that Doom's really put a whole new, uh, well, no pun intended, but dimension onto Doom. Still got the bones of this uh, Doom gameplay, but all the flashiness and dynamic lights, as well as the scripting. It's nice, there are so many different flavors of Doom now. And I'm saying this because I was thinking that, oh, colored lighting fog, is, is that Doom 64 like? And it's it's not, it's, it's its own thing. You couldn't say this was like Doom 64. Dances of corridors looping around each other, it's... It just feels so amazing to... shoot some demons in. Still don't have a rocket launcher. Slight argument there. No. <laughs> yeah, it is about stepping on those and having plasma hurled at you. This leads back into the corridor I came from. I'm not really sure where I'm going now. lever up here. Let me just uh, take stock of my actions. That's presumably accessed somehow around here, but I can't quite identify it. So. We pulled that. That opened that door. We then went down and around, and we pulled that switch. What did that do? Could we get through here before? Ah, this is new. And there, at the end of the ruined platform, is the Iron Brew. And there is a... oh, there's a biosuit there, if I can survive the journey towards it. Let's see what I can do. 
Oh, it's uh, it's the kind of uh, gentle lava. Got to be a secret around here somewhere. Perhaps there is, but I'm not intelligent enough to find it just now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, well. Can't look clever all the time. Right. That's the yellow key. What do I do with this? Well, there are more of you, are there? Well, I'm just going to go this way. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, coming useful. some plasma with you, and goodbye. Oh, uh, once again, spectacular map from Last Loop and the Flex. Uh, you're one of those people who just picked up UDB one day and said, I'll have a go at this, and instantly churned out masterpieces. Uh, but I love the var variety of uh, maps in this ramp, from these big factory things. That wasn't even... I, I, I thought that that was going to be too long, but it's, it's on the long side, but it didn't feel like it outstayed its welcome. Uh, yeah, so from these towering factories to these little experiments like the Punch-Out map and the uh, gauntlet of Cyberdemon rockets, which nobody knows is completable. Uh, it's all there! Thanks also to patrons of all tiers who contribute to the monetary and mental cost of hosting RAMP. If you'd like to support the project, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.